So this is Dennis, and I'm just going to show how I do my little schnauzer trim on him. I'm going with a little bit longer than I normally would because uh, mom is here for the winter and it's cold out. So, um, you know, I'm doing the orange dark tone, which is number one. So, you can't really see currently because I've taken them down pretty short last time. But I do usually do kind of a copper cut or copper shoulder cut. So I start with going down the back. To get some of that hair off. And then down the back of the back thigh. I want to give them a really good rear angulation back here. So that that goes a little shorter. And then I'll go back the other direction. So if you look at the Schnauzer trim, it goes down here, short, and then kind of you give them a little bit of an underline and then it comes over and goes down. And the best way I found to do it with these types of coats is that I basically go right off of the widest point. So on him, I start going down and I'm going straight down off of his thigh. So this is the widest point of his leg and I'm going straight down and just skimming all of this but it's coming, like the, the actual pattern is starting here. So I'm coming off that widest point, really bringing that thigh, thigh muscle out, and I just keep going all the way down. So now it's kind of coming up here, where I'm starting to go into the pattern. So, I'm going off of the widest point again, still up here, and just going straight down. So all this is a little bit from doing it this way. Um, and then when I come up here, going back off of the widest point, so in here, it's kind of coming down into here. So up here I go a little bit higher than I would on a normal schnauzer, but um, that's because they have a different type of body type than a schnauzer would, but this is the way that I found it best. So I'm going off of that widest point, I'm going straight down. I took his skirt off, or his underline off a little bit last time, because it was He's getting gross. Um, so he doesn't have as much down there. So again, here's the widest point, and I'm just gonna follow. This is about like the line where it's going. So it's going straight off. Put your hat, buddy. So now you've got that going here. And then when you get to the front leg, you're going to keep doing it. Going right off the widest point, here it's more down here. So now it's come like this. I leave a little bit here just to keep that leg kind of blended in. Because if you make it too pronounced, it looks funny. But going right off the, highest, the widest point, which is right about here. So it's straight down. Like that. This is just the best way I've found because all dogs have such weird bodies because it still gives them that look. And then when I go to the front, so I would do the neck differently, but on the chest, I'm going off the widest point here. Let's take this off. What happened? You got So when 
I do without doodles. I don't like to go too short on the neck. Um, most owners don't like that normally with the shoulders. You do like a 10. But I just do the length that I'm doing and go in reverse. In the same pattern, it goes down to about the breastbone and comes up to about where the whiskers are on the cheek, about that height. And all the way up. So now you've got that part shorter. And you feel a little bit because Headband. And I'm just taking all of this off of the neck. All the way up to the half foot here. Uh, two fingers behind the off of it. And if the dog has no neck, but sometimes they don't, he has a pretty good neck. I'll take this like one length shorter. So like I'm doing a one, I might do a two on that reverse on the neck. Um, so then off the chest, you want to go off that wider point. So right here is about where it is. You want to keep this in there, but you don't want to leave it home. So you take it straight off that wider point, off that chest bone right here. Go straight down and skim along that chest so you have a nice straight figure. And then on the shoulder, I go nice and tight here. And then right in here, because you want to make sure that that foot looks like it's underneath the dog instead of out in front, I will take a skip into the leg. Out so that you have a nice now that leg is underneath the dog instead of out in front. So that's basically how I set the pattern. Then I'll go through with um, a longer guard comb, usually for this. I would do whatever this light purple one is, the three fourths inch, and I would just go over. Um, the legs just to kind of trim those in a little bit. Stay there. Stay there. Don't fall off. So, I'm not going to do the full length, but just kind of going over it just to trim that down a little bit. Then you can do longer if they want longer legs. Um, but most owners want them to be fairly short. So I'll do that and then over where the blue left to the underline. You don't want it to be a skirt, you don't want it to poop out. So you do, I just skim this over that underline. So I'm only going in a little bit. I'm just skimming this down just to give it a little bit of blending. And then I'll scissor across here. And I'll do the same step up here. It's not a showdown, so I, I keep it tucked up pretty, pretty much where it naturally is. If I was doing one that top of the room, I would bring it tucked up up here to give them a more square look. But I don't do that with my pet dog. End up being, um, getting tangled there. So that's basically how I do the schnauzer cut on a doodle. And I do this on just about all my doodles because it's easier for the owners to take care of. Uh, it keeps them looking fluffy, but then because they have like the longer legs and stuff, but then at the same time, they're shorter. And you can do it with a blade, you just gotta be light with your hand when you're doing that blending. So, you can kind of see the way it turns out. Just like that.